Okay, so I went out on the uh, Ulti bike this morning with uh, with a gear on the front of a 30, which is this one, um, and a 34 on the back, which is this one. And um, we got uh, 35, maybe 36 miles an hour. Um, with this gear, but that means that none of the rest of the cluster is going to get used, and um, in theory, we were geared for about 50 miles an hour, so we ain't got enough torque, so there is no point in using uh, 30, 34. So, what I've decided to do is to go smaller on the front, which was my intention in the beginning, I'll be honest. However, this little 30 was very convenient because with the five bolt pattern that I have on my freewheeling cranks this just fitted bizarrely rather than being on the 92 the 92 BCD it's got this inner hole I don't know why but that fits perfectly and that's you know there's only a slight amount of play there to uh, to center but everything lines up so I just used it for convenience. Anyway, we move on. So I found a 22-32-42 set, which was on a little crank set that I had on my uh, tandem. And I had it on my tandem at the front from when my little, little girl was uh, on kitty cranks. And it was on here. So I had a 32 which went out to a 32 back on her set of cranks um, which were kitty cranks. So we were all synchronized, everything good. But she's already out of all that now so I thought I'll recover these and uh, just make this into a plain crank um, because I don't need it anymore to drive a, the third chain. So anyway that's a tandem, that's another story. Going back, so we got now we've got 22 on a four bolt pattern. Now obviously this is a, and these are the same, these things are the same. So we've got a four bolt pattern on here, five bolt pattern on here. So, and this is too hard to drill. I can't drill it. I tried. So uh, what I've ended up doing is, is grinding slots in alignment where the, <coughs> the four bolts go. So we have one bolted and then three slots uh, ground into this because my grinder works perfectly well on this so we've made this up now with the 80 tooth that we already had um, but now with four bolts with the 32 and the 22 now the extra advantage of this is as well that the extra spacer from the 32 um, and with this 22 being slightly dished, probably out by three or four millimeters, means that my chain line is going to get closer to the frame, closer to the wheel. So what I noticed this morning was the chain line on the 20, the 30, 34 was quite kinked. And when you're given, um, given full acceleration power through that, that was, uh, it's not ideal. So, uh, so we're going to try this uh, next time out. So in theory, the alternator will spin out fully um, at about 30 miles an hour. Now I know the bike will do 35, so um, hopefully that means the, the motor will spin out. And uh, of course I'll get uh, much better acceleration because I've now got uh, uh, 30 divided by 22 times the, uh, the torque. So uh, happy days. Uh, anyway, I'm running this on a on a little handheld iPhone, so uh, I can hardly do this with one hand, so I'm not going to try. But ultimately, we're going to be popping that on there, and popping it on there, and doing two chains with one hand is not going to happen. So I will bid you farewell until the next time. Bye-bye.